I wish we didn't get so stressed, it is only a day. But when I woke, I realised it's just a week away. I think I have done everything for Santa and his sleigh. Oh, I wish you comfort and joy, comfort and joy. I hope that you find comfort and joy. Hello, lovelies. This is a two-day vlog, so very much vlog style. Um, so Wednesday evening, uh, we decided not to have knit night. Lots of people unavailable, not not feeling 100%, so forth. So we're going to definitely do next week because it will be Secret Santa week next week. So that will be good. Um, so when I was walking the dog, I took some photographs and some video of the Christmas lights that people have got around their houses. So I'll put that in here. So obviously if you are sensitive to flashing lights, you may want to skip ahead a little. This morning I went to the dentist, uh, it's Thursday morning as I'm recording this, I've got time to record, I just haven't got time to kind of edit and upload and all that sort of stuff. Um, and I was a complete coward at the dentist because it was a checkup, and where I thought I had some potential problems, they weren't as, as bad as I thought but there were a couple of areas where he said well we can, we can do treatment on that, and no no it's not hurting so my discoloured one for example at the front which I know is not attractive but you'll never unsee that now will you um, I it will be root canal work and it's not hurting me and I don't want to have root canal work at the moment so I was like thank you very much I'll just monitor that for the time being so so yes, a complete and utter coward. I make no apology for that. That's just the way it went. <laughs> On my way to the uh, dentist, I spotted a Christmas tree in a hairdressing salon window. And if you look at the decorations, you'll see why it amused me. Isn't that great? I love that. <laughs> So that is Thursday morning so far. Uh, I have work to do and then a visit this afternoon and then out with some friends this evening. Um, should we be visiting friends? I don't know. But we're going to be kind of sensible. Yeah, it's... Oh, what do you do at the moment? What do you do? That is the question. At the moment we're still doing, but it'll probably be my last social outing for a while, so we shall see. Take care lovelies, I'll see you along the way. Hello lovelies, it's Friday morning and I nearly need to replace this ink pen or learn to write with it. Um, <laughs> yeah, look like I'm at primary school. Um, had a lovely evening with friends yesterday, uh, there were four of us in the end and it was nice, just real opportunity to catch up. Uh, the friend who was hosting laid on some nice food and just really good time so in fact it was such a good time that um one of the party looked at their watch at one point and said good god you realize it's 20 past 11 we'd better go home then <laughs> it was one of those so it was it was nice um this morning got the news that our drumming party uh which was due for next monday has been cancelled I am destined never to go to the drumming group party. I've missed two because of illness and now two because of COVID. So I know it's not all about me. That's not the point. But um, yeah, so that's a shame. Um, 
and it's because the band don't want to play and who can blame them really um the the information or the advice coming from the chief medical officer is think carefully about your socializing to make sure that you prioritize and don't risk getting the illness with a group of people that maybe don't mean as much as some others you know sort of concentrate your your thoughts and time which which makes a lot of sense so yeah the band don't want to play because they don't want to risk not being able to spend christmas with their families and you can't blame them for that at all no. so yes that's that um still fairly busy i've now got a visit tomorrow morning which i would rather not do on a saturday but um needs must at the moment i'm not working between christmas and new year and the chap started to say well i will be around on the bank yeah you can mate uh <laughs> yeah i'm sorry i'm not available at that time so i'm seeing him tomorrow morning which then means i can get it written before christmas hopefully so so that will be good um yeah nothing else very exciting going on unsurprisingly after a late night feeling a little weary but uh we'll get through today that's no problem and then tomorrow i think is just going to be a work day rather than a saturday i'm hopeful to get everything done tomorrow uh, i've also got a zoom call with some lovely friends hello ladies speak to you later when i say tomorrow i mean today by the time this goes up because it's friday when i'm recording this there is also meant to be a gathering among neighbors a kind of social among neighbours whether that will be happening or not who knows himself was meant to be at football Saturday that's been cancelled I think there are five as at time of recording there are five matches cancelled because of uh, reports of Covid within the teams or the clubs and his is one of the ones affected so so he's not going to footy now um, but this is kind of the way it's going so it's, I've heard it described as kind of locked down by stealth because there isn't an official thou shalt not, but a lot of people are choosing not to go to things or like the football situation, sufficient number of positive tests within the club that they feel it's not safe to, to go ahead. So this is cheery, isn't it? <laughs> oh, goodness. It does feel very much like here we are again, but we just have to work with the situation we're in, whether we want to or not. So I have a ceremony today. I'm going to go a little early and drop off a few boxes of chocks and uh, Christmas cards. And then I need to go to the supermarket on my way home. So it's just a life of glamour as always. This is the high-end, high-maintenance type of person you've come to expect on this vlog, isn't it? Who <laughs> can't use an ink pen without getting ink all over her thumb. Yeah, that's that's classy. So, <laughs> But yes, another day in paradise. So I will try and catch up with you a bit later uh, before putting this all up on Saturday morning. Take care, everyone. Cheers. Hello, lovelies. Right, I've been to the supermarket. We're all good. The particular supermarket that I go to, it has a Christmas tree in the foyer and a notice saying how many sleeps left till Christmas. I want to punch it every time I walk past. <laughs> and I'm not a violent person, as a general rule. One thing I forgot to say is I finished reading Jeanette Winterson's 12 Days of Christmas. And there are short, st it's a compilation of short stories and also recipes haven't tried any of them yet, but I am going to try the cheese crispies as recommended by Nadine, who mentioned that she'd read the book. So thank you for the suggestion. Um, I really enjoyed it. It was a an assortment of stories. And when you have an assortment, then some you like better than others. Um, but I really enjoyed them and it did feel Christmassy. There was a ghost story. There were children's stories. There were it had a kind of very Victorian feel to some of them. Um, yeah, so that was, if it's available at your local library and you want something a little festive, I would, I would say go for it. 
if you're an audible user and you have the the kind of monthly membership i think it may even be included as a free listen so um so that might be worth looking into so but uh, very very enjoyable and it felt it felt christmassy which is what i was after so so yeah i enjoyed that um i have uh, gratefully declined um the neighborhood thing tomorrow evening the um visiting the neighbors a lot of people have pulled out today and uh, it's it's one of those things that you think well should i or shouldn't i but then i don't know it just doesn't feel quite right so you've got to go with your instinct on that haven't you and i just thought no I'd, i really want to go and see my father on christmas eve and i wouldn't want anything to jeopardize that and i have to work that i have to do but it's then sort of the level of risk one wish to t wishes to take so so that's what i've decided oh, i hope the neighbors don't mind they've had about five other messages from people saying that they're going to gracefully and gratefully decline as well so not alone not that that makes any difference you do things based on your own judgment but you know what i mean you, you don't want to be the only killjoy or buzzkill or whatever your phrase of choice is so so that's that's decided and i feel a little more at ease for that which is good so. uh today i delivered some uh christmas cards and gifts to business associates um I took some footage along of the journey so that will show at the end and I think I'm probably going to bring that to a close here yeah I think that's all I've got to say uh, himself will be cooking a curry Friday night is curry night and I'm carrying on with work so that will be what I do for the next hour or so whilst he works his magic in the kitchen so. so i will catch up with you again tomorrow tomorrow being sunday morning because i'll put this up on saturday i really if i do vlogmas again which i probably will do another year i will talk less about which day it is and what i'm doing when because i think i'm just confusing myself and probably not helping anyone else either <laughs> so maybe next year i'll put them up in the evening rather than in the morning Putting up in the morning is a good idea if you haven't got to do anything in the morning. Um, but if you've got to be out for an appointment relatively early, it's not practical. So lesson learned. No. But you take care, my lovelies. Um, I will hopefully catch up with myself a bit this weekend. Do need to do some work Saturday as well as having this visit now. Never mind. Um, but hopefully Sunday I'll catch up a bit because I know I've got some e-cards. I've had some notifications through. I've had some cards through that I want to kind of acknowledge. So hopefully I will do that over the weekend. Whatever you're doing this weekend, I hope you're having fun. I hope you're enjoying it. I hope you're spending it with people you like, doing things that you enjoy. Take care. Thank you so much. And I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.